Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dateless Plays of Victoria 2 as Beiyang, China. So, we are at the last, last little, uh... Well, last little run over here of, of this of this very, 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 very interesting little run. It has been a very interesting game. Oh, what's this? Jacobins. And yes, the show province ID thing is still in, in case you're wondering. I did not, well, cheat per se. I just wanted to correct this little border here. So Vietnam would have uh, Cochin China back. That is what I did. That is why the show province ID thing is still in. Maybe I should remove it. Mm, show province ID. Now we don't have that to worry about that. Forts over here should be rebuilt. Communist riot. No, do not allow that scumbaggery to spread, please. Upgrade everything. Intellectuals in one way. I want, you want, I want party support for the most populated states. So that maybe I can control my militancy. Keep it low. We already have it pretty low and... You know, things are doing pretty well, but still, it doesn't hurt to stay up. Stay up on these things. Can we declare war? I wonder. No more war. 11th of September this year. Okay. I forget. Does the game end in 1936? Hmm. We'll find out soon enough. Rhodesian liberation of Kazambe, Zambia. Here, take some, uh, take some money. Based Rhodesia. My God, they're getting a, they're obliterating. Wow, they have a lot of cores. Very nice. Very cool. The fact that Spain has this, but the USA has this is just gross. Everything about this is a, absolutely disgusting. Okay, the Russians put down their Jacobins. I wonder if I'll be able to, to dismantle the Russian. Now that we're getting mass politics, I should be able to, uh, to fabricate that war goal. Malaysia. Now they have mass politics. Oh yes, I can fabricate for dismantle nation. I like how Austria-Hungary is now allied to France, despite the fact that they obliterated the French. Like, absolutely. Well, that is hilarious. And kind of sad.
Build an extra 10 battleships and a whole bunch of transports. Our victory. Who's number two in prestige, anyways? Japan. Interesting, despite the fact that we have fucking annihilated them several times over. them. They will not accept. Do we have one of their cores? No. We don't have any of Mongolia's cores. That is disgusting. This Ottoman Empire should not exist. Yeah, and the fact that this happen? How did they lose their core in Alsace-Lorraine? It's mostly Germans, but still, they usually have cores on their shit, even despite the fact that they're mostly Germans a lot of the time. That is very odd. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Fuck right off, Japan. Jesus. Stupid cunt. Yeah, I'm gonna fabricate to dismantle. Nineteen infamy, right off the bat. Well, now, we are, however, the most powerful nation in the world. The only one in second place has less, almost half of our power, so... They can bring it on. Oh, Kyrgyzstan exists. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Price of infamy, shit. International pariah. Import plus 20, minus prestige, blah blah blah, yeah, it sucks. Sanctions. Yeah, those are terrible. Factory owner cost, well, well everything goes up. Militancy is gonna go up now too. Not as many as many emigrants as I thought would happen, but
have so much money stored up that honestly it doesn't even matter the fact that the, all these things are expensive. We probably couldn't get into debt if you tried. Are we even going to finish fabricating this? My god, it takes forever. Yeah, I honestly don't really care about having the infamy now since we are so very fucking wealthy. Uh, putting down rebels should be fairly easy, t easy too. Especially considering how... Especially considering how... Uh, Wow, everything that we everything that we do is just <laughs> we're ahead of everyone. Let's get dreadnoughts, why not? Or try to get dreadnoughts. Or phenomenalism, commerce, industry. Let's get assembly line. Assembly line is terrific tech. This is a terrific tech. What? Japanese liberation of Sakhalin. That is a very bad idea. Putting it out there. Not to not to be a party pooper, but uh, that is a very bad idea, Japan. You don't want to do that. You do not want to fuck with me, Japan. Have you seen what happened last time, my friend? Oh, you were going there. That is your is that your core? That is one of their course shit. Uh, I should have deployed some soldiers there. I totally forgot about it. Oh yes, Vietnam again. the Japanese being retarded again and dying. Wow, what a great day. I love it. Ugh, bastards.
Die, scum. Let's just fucking cross. We're gonna cross. There's nothing they can fucking do about it. Little shits. Oh shit, we are actually on the attack. Back the fuck up here. Fucking shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, seven, throw an eight one in there. Oh, we actually won this. Surprising. They never learn, do they? going to fucking die for this, Japan. Now oh, we lost our CB against the Russians. Oopsie. Die, Vietnamese scum. I don't want to hurt you. So, peace out while you can, Vietnam. We should land some troops over here as well. These guys will do. So yeah, 21 minutes, okay.
We we'll have to try to retake. Already prepared for us. End of the Ottoman dynasty, about time. Not ready for this, Japan. for this shit. Alright, more of this. I like to keep... Nah, these guys can go. They're still pouring in trash. We're gonna keep taking out the trash if they keep putting it in there. Tanks get in there. That should be a plus. Plus, it'll it'll divert a lot of their troop movement that are st st now stuck going over here. Ah, oh, you turd! All right, all the troops moved across. We need to split, split, split our navy. We get. Attack man, you're all right. Bosnia. Hmm. Who is this? Siam. This is a bloodbath. Fun. This is so fun. We have like two years left or something like that. Are we even going to be able to finish this war? Wait, how are they crossing this if this is blockaded? Oh, maybe the Seto Inland Sea. Because of that.
Well, these are almost dead. Once they're done, we'll be able to push. And they're losing way more soldiers than we are. I think they're almost done mobilizing. It doesn't look like they have any large gatherings of troops. Armor. We did build airplanes, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. We were able to build them too, which is great. Oh, there we go. It's almost over. Wow, that was actually better than the last time. 842... Nearly a... Oh my god. Nearly a million Japanese died in this battle. Oh my god. Well, that's it. We're crossing. Hi. How's it going, baby? You want some fuck? Yeah, I bet you do. Dirty little shits. Eat shit. You stupid little prideful little shits. That's what you get. Oh, I love it. The Treaty of Ido. Dead. They don't have many colonies to get rid of. Long live Beiyang, China, indeed. Yep, the game is almost over. I think I'm over time. Yeah, 30 minutes. I'll just keep going until I finish it. It's almost over anyways. Astro Hungry wants access. Sure thing, bud. You can have that. Saxon War of Anholtian Freedom. Okay. Japanese didn't really have anything to get, to get dismantled, though, I think. But the fact that I made them do that will probably cause a lot of problems for their, uh... I wonder if that means they gave up their cores on us. No, they still have their cores. Fucking hell. They have cores here? Huh, I thought they didn't have cores here. Oh, the more you know. You'd think that dismantling their empire would have done that. And they're not having any open revolts, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping they'd get some sort of revolts. Just keep doing this, I guess. There's nothing else that I need to encourage. TBH.
nothing really else that I need to encourage. Yep. If I encourage craftsmen, I'm going to get rampant in employment, so why bother? Why bother at all? Let's just keep it as is, and the game is almost over. Russian Afghanistan. Wow, what are these? Russian fascists. That's an interesting looking Bavaria you got there. Get romanticism, why not? We're only number two in prestige. It's almost over. It's been a really good game, I swear. More reactionaries. Yeah, just leave it as is. There's no real reason to change things. The game is almost over. Oh, man, this has been such a great game. It took us like one or two restarts, but shit, once we got it right, it was amazing. The shit that we did. Number one in everything, well, except for prestige. But then again, that doesn't really matter that much. Our total score is 12,000. The number two nation, which is what, the US of S of A. Number two, they have 8,000. My god, we are way ahead of them. It's disgusting. Look at all these roads getting built, too. That is some good shit. And there it is. I think it's gonna end in uh, 1936. Yeah, we did manage to dismantle the Russian Empire, but shit, did a lot of stuff happen here. We would kick the Japanese out. I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea to attack us at that moment. I'm really perplexed as to why the AI thought that was a very good option. I know the AI is not exactly known for its intelligent decisions, but still, that was really superlatively stupid. That was just beyond retarded. Just when you thought a Paradox AI couldn't get any more dumb, it does happen. Oh my god, they got reactionaries? Zero percent, zero and ten percent. My god, Bengal is pathetic. It's 1935, man. And they're way behind. <laughs> Shitily got all this good stuff. They did pretty well for themselves. Italy, Austria, Hungary, and Spain, which are usually crap, did pretty well for themselves. Doesn't really matter what I get. Oh, Taiping nationalists. Thank God I built forts. Not as many as I wish to build, but still. Plus we have gas, which will make things significantly easier. Yeah, this is only a level 1 fort, so it's not going to last very long. Yeah, they occupied it. 
think the Heavenly Kingdom is not dead. It is. Give up, man. The dream is dead. Looks like we're having ourselves a second Taiping Rebellion in our hands. Interesting. <laughs> million. 2,800 rebel brigades in active revolt. We'll just have to kill them all. thousand stack. Just when I thought this shit couldn't get any worse. That's why I thought that everything was going to be peachy for the rest of the game. This garbage happens. God damn it. Well, at least I don't need to worry about this, right? God damn it, all the hell. died dead a day. That is something I did not expect. I expected communist rebels or something like that, but this? That was unexpected. Oh, there we have it, a second Taiping Rebellion. How appropriate. We started the game in wanting to be the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, and we end the game with our people wanting to be wanting to gain independence for the type for the defunct Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. There we go, game over. Oh god. Oh wow, that was a great game, if it wasn't for this end. 100 momentous years have passed, and now my country's embroiled in war and destruction. Thank God I don't have to worry about that. Oh, wow, that score. Damn. We did very well. 95% literacy, too. Very impressive. Hmm. Let's take a look at the ledger. Military score. We are at the top with 3,300, more than twice of the U.S. More than two, almost 2,000 more. We're lagging behind 700 prestige. Oh, Alright. We have the total highest pop, right? Yep. 
567 million people. Wow. The U.S. number two. We had the most brigades, did we? Wow, the Union of Britain had the most brigades. Okay, interesting. That is very odd. We didn't have the highest uh, literacy of the nations, of course. We had the most craftsmen, the most soldiers, most aristocrats, most of everything. Yep, most of everything. Highest militancy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, what else? Factory that employed the most was in West Sichuan, a glass factory and a steel factory, producing, employing 230,000 people. Wait. Yeah, 230,000. Highest level one was a lumber factory. Highest income was a luxury furniture factory. Highest output was a lumber fa All lumber. Holy crap. All right. Very nice. That is the end, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have it. Bay uh, China and HPM. I did it. Wow, that is one hell of a feat. I'm proud of myself for that. That was a load of fun. So yeah, thank you for keeping up with this and uh, following me on this great journey. And I'll see what I can play next. Let me know what you want. What do you want? And I'll see you next time.